Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market, so as I already talked about this in today's Euro video, and speaking about the three drive pattern that uh, have been completed yesterday, um, it is really amazing just because if you remember our comments and through the la last week for the previous week, um, we have really big doubts how it could, ha could, hap how it could happen and because overall market performance uh, was well not in favor of the strong upper reduction but stubbornly market was keeping valid this pattern and once again i just would like to repeat that if you see on the market that some that it behaves a bit irrationally although for example by your analysis it should turn down but it is not uh, turning down it means something it also the warning sign that something uh, you either miss or you have to be sensitive to any uh, price behavior that contradicts to your opinion or to other signals that you have on the market. And once we have identified this possible free drive, we said that uh, taking the position is a bit tricky and so on. So you remember what we talked about this. Currently, as you could see, market has completed this 1618 butterfly here. The 1823 target has been hit perfectly. Trend remained bearish. Fortunately and unfortunately, but we haven't got the crubber for the spike. We, on the euro currency, we have the crubber for this recent action. On the gold market, we do not. Uh, but anyway, our overall uh, picture looks very similar to what we have on the euro currency. So, um, on the 4 hour time frame chart, and in general, I would say that take a look, that market has completed and finalized our prediction with the spike and return right back down below this area. Now, as you can see, that free drive might be the, the, the pattern that put the background for a possible starting down reduction, which is a bread and butter. And it's more interesting that all this stuff has happening, uh, has happened around, um, take a look, this potential neckline of this big hand and shoulders pattern. So bread and butter could become the part of this pattern that will form the right arm here. And then major upper reduction on the gold market could start. That's in towards what we're expecting to see in the mid-term uh, perspective. So, um, what we could do currently? Well, psychologically, it is not very comfortable trying to take the position when you see it's this type of action. But uh, to keep psych aside um, and, move, and watching only on the patterns that we have, there is nothing actually scaring with the making the decision on this uh, moment because take a look on the four hour time frame chart we have completed free drive cell as you know uh, the free drive target minimum target stands between second and third drive in the bottom between second and third drive so at least market has to drop below these lows that's what's come from this free drive pattern yes there's some uh problems with this really strong acceleration here it's uh, not very good for a bearish reversal pattern, but we have now a now choice actually. And uh, here is you need to make decision either to wait a bit more and see for more clarity what you could do. Something like we talked about on the euro currency today. Wait when the Fed meeting will be over, wait for signals that Jerome Powell will send to the markets. Then you could drop your time frame more, for example, to the hourly chart, even to the 15 minute chart maybe and watch for the performance around this top. If market will start forming some bearish reversal pattern here, you could use this pattern for taking the position. Um, but from the technical point of view, as I said, market has no reasons if it's really preparing the reversal uh, and if it's not uh, currently bullish. It has no reasons to proceed higher. If this will happen, market erase the free drive and keep going higher. Well, it means that the short term bearish uh, context will be over and starting point of the brand body will be postponed on some later moment. So we'll, in this case, we will have to wait for a bit longer and see what will happen. Uh, meantime, here you could see that everything mostly stands 
ready. So we have the divergence, major target has been completed, market turning down. On the hourly charts, take a look. Market has formed nicely looking, sorry, not this chart. Here you can see market has formed nicely looking bearish engulfing pattern. And so also this black candle is also reversal one. So theoretically, you could stick with this uh, pattern, try and take position somewhere with the stops above this area and watch what will happen. At least uh, some retracement here should be done. And that you know, should let you to move stops to the break even. That's how you could uh, alternatively act as well. So it means the two ways of action. First one is in your currency we discussed today as well. Suggest waiting a bit, watching for a clear bearish reversal pattern right there. Although we already have something. Uh, wait for the results of the Jerome Powell press conference and then make a decision. Or just following the pattern. So you have engulfing, you have free drive, is taking the position, placing stop above the invalidation point of the patterns and just watch what will happen. So two ways of action. For the bulls, guys, currently, I do not see really good uh, background for position taking.